So here we are, um, some photographs of Florence, which is, well, I used to say my favourite city in all of Italy. Um, it's a, it's close between that and Bologna nowadays since I've been to Bologna, but this is the this was the second time that I'd been to Florence. I'd been, um, I think, a year or two before, um, kind of for my birthday, and this was I was here for a week this time around. Well, five days or so. So um, this is a statue of, um, I believe it's Cosimo de' Medici. Um, I think it's Cosimo the Great rather than Cosimo the, Great, um, the Elder. Uh, there was two of them um, about 70, 80 years apart. I believe this is Cosimo the Great who may or may not have been the first Duke of Tuscany, I think. I, don't correct me on that. Either way, it's a statue of a fella on a horse, quite nicely lit, I think. Um, quite a bit of detail as well, you can see on it. I've seemed to have nailed the um, the focus quite a bit on that horse's face. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the first one that we got for Florence. Next up, this is a photo. Um, I mean, it's it's a photo that's horribly in shadow, isn't it? Uh, other than that person's face right down the bottom of the image, which I've just noticed, they've obviously just appeared out of the darkness. Um, this is taken right by um, the Uffizi, um, which is the really world-famous art gallery. I mean, if you think of pretty much any Renaissance art, it's probably in that museum. Um, it's an amazing museum. It's really, really interesting. Um, unfortunately, the vast majority of it here is in shadow. Um, I think the time of day I've taken this photograph in has sort of caused that. Um, in the background there next to the crane, that is the um, uh, Palazzo Vecchio. It's the old city hall for Florence when Florence was a republic uh, and, and basically its own country. Um, yeah, with the big crane in the damn way as well. That, I think every time I've been to Florence, that crane has been in the bloody way, annoyingly. Um, I'm not sure if it's there anymore. I think the last time I went, it may have gone. May have gone. So, yeah, um, I guess... <laughs> I don't know what to make of this image. Um, I mean, the, the deep shadows and everything sort of leads towards the background, but I mean, I don't think I was trying to make the Palazzo Vecchio the actual focus of the image, and that crane is just annoyingly in the way, so it's it's not great, is it? It is okay, I guess. Another one of the most famous sites of Florence. Um, this is the Ponte Vecchio, uh, which is the, the old bridge crossing the River Arno. Um, it's most famous because it's basically been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, it's got shops, I think they're mostly jewellery shops on there now, um, shops across it and, and whatnot. They've been there for hundreds of years as well. Um, yeah, I quite like this image. Um, it's a shame that the uh, not much of a reflection that you can see um, in the river itself. Um, I think because I've taken it from this particular angle and the, the, the sun is sort of behind the buildings causing this huge amount of shadow. You do get a little bit of reflection on the bottom left there and a little bit on the bottom right, but um, other than that, it's um, it's it, it could have been done better. I think there are better ones that I've taken off this same bridge actually. May, may even be on this roll, I can't remember. Here's another bridge in Florence. Um, this one is taken from the Ponte Vecchio, so I am actually stood on the bridge in the last photograph um, in this one. Um, that's one of the bridges further along. There's, there's quite a few of them over the river. Um, as you can imagine, it's a relatively wide river, so there's a lot of bridges. Um, uh, this one is got a bit better of a reflection. I do like how uh, symmetrical it seems to be, and it's, it's very central. Um, there's like that bell tower on the left-hand side that I haven't cut off, which is which is good. Um, yeah, I quite like this. Um, I don't know if that's a duck or some sort of thing that's like sort of on the bottom right hand side of the image. You can see something in this in the water. Um, I mean, you can see how still the river is as well. It was it was not a not a windy day. It was very warm, <laughs> so it was pretty hot. Okay, this is just a busker um, playing some playing a violin outside of the um, Palazzo Pitti, which is on the other side of the river to the um, sort of main centre of Florence, um, which is called um, Altrano, which just mean, basically means the other side of of the Arno, which is the river. Um, yeah, just a photograph of a busker here. Um, Again, like I said in previous videos, I seem to have had this problem with getting up close to people. I mean, this is a 50mm lens. I could do it a lot closer, really, and, 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 and still had a decent image. For some reason, I've decided to stand quite far back while this gentleman is uh, is playing the violin. Wish I'd got a bit closer. Probably get a little bit, uh, be a bit more interesting there. This is more kind of what I would have wanted from the earlier image of the Ponte Vecchio, as you can see you can see a lot of reflection now in the river. Um, annoyingly, it's a bit 
dark. Um, I think this is a little bit underexposed, which is surprising considering how bright the sunshine is. You can see that there's barely any clouds in the sky. Um, it's, it's, it's a boiling hot, very bright sunny day. So it's a bit surprising I've managed to underexpose it. I think I've just gone for kind of get as much... Well, I mean... There's not much shadow detail, is there? That's annoying. I've obviously exposed it probably about f16 or something, or maybe even even narrower, just to cope with the um, amount of light that is going to be hitting the lens. And instead, I've managed to underexpose quite a bit on the on the right hand side there. But again, like I said, more reflections in the water, which is sort of the main focus of what I was for for an image of the Ponte Vecchio here. If I'm honest. It's not quite as central as I'd like it to be. Um, it's an okay shot. What I said about the busker and getting a bit closer, inexplicably I seemed perfectly happy getting really close to some fellas with guns. So um, there we go. <laughs> this is more kind of what I was thinking. If I'm going to take some sort of some sort of shot of someone in uh, on the street and you want to actually see them up close and actually get some detail this is more it this is more about the distance that i feel comfortable with i'm a lot more comfortable being closer than this nowadays actually but i mean for some reason i've decided i'm more comfortable with the guys with guns to stand relatively close to them and take photographs of them than the fellow with the violin who clearly wasn't going to do me any damage with his violin um yeah a, a nice nice focus n nailed the focus on their faces which is good um and they're relatively interesting looking people which is good as well if you're going to take photographs of people on the street they've got to at least be interesting there's no point just photographing boring looking people so there's that um it's in an interesting setting um yeah i'm, I'm relatively happy with this i would i would say shame they're not looking at camera or I'm not slightly to the left to have got a better shot of their faces but other than that relatively okay for some reason I've decided to take um, a couple of shots now sort of looking up at buildings um, architecturally wise yes really interesting as a photograph no um, it just sort of stretches stretches it out um, I think the main reason I took a photo like this of the uh, Palazzo Vecchio is because I think at the time I was a bit obsessed with the Assassin's Creed games, um, uh, the ones that are, that are set in Italy in the Renaissance, um, and in that game you climb up to the top of this tower here. Um, so that's kind of probably why I took a photograph of this, and probably why I took the next photograph as well, actually. Interesting building, love the architecture of Florence, um, just... I don't know. I'm not quite sure if this works or not. It seems like it. The building looks like it's falling backwards away from the image. If you know what I mean, this one I think is probably a bit more interesting than the last one. Actually, um, yeah, it just it, it's shooting straight up into the sky. Um, I stood right at the base of this. This is the campanile of the cathedral, um, which is the the bell tower. Um, I have been to the top of that. It is bloody high. Um, I've been to the top of the cathedral as well. Again, that is even higher. Um, don't don't go up there if you've got some sort of fear of heights. Um, yeah, I've obviously, looking at the interesting architecture, wanted to take a shot just showing like it shooting up into the sky, which I think I've achieved more in this one. Um, I think the last photo, again, looked more like the building was falling backwards away from us. This one looks more like the building is rising up above us, which is more what I wanted to do. So this one I'm a little bit happier with. It's an interesting angle, I would say that. And it's probably not an angle you tend to see of this particular building. Like Last photo on this roll, because once again, that stupid Yashika only managed to take 10 shots, um, and it's this, it's just a it's just a park image. This isn't even in Florence, this is actually in Prato, um, which I went to um, either the, the, the second or third day that I was in Florence um, that time around. Um, Prato is a city that's about 15 20 minutes away on the train um there was a couple of things i wanted to see uh, there's a um castle there that was built by i think was built by frederick uh, frederick barbarossa um the holy roman empire who kind of invaded italy in the 12th or 11th century one or the other um and there was a couple of other things i wanted to see um because i'm an idiot um and i keep doing this as well every time i go to italy i, I have managed to do this uh, i went on a monday so everything was closed um so i wandered around the city of prato and there was no one around and none of the shops were open and the museums were open it was really boring um yeah but this is a photograph of sort of the, the park that's in front of the station um i think i just like the autumnal colors is the main reason i've gone for this if you see my photos of luca in, in one of the previous videos you'll have noticed that i like trees and parks and repetitive lines of shadows and, and an autumnal kind of leaves look so that's again what i've obviously looked to do here um but other than that it's not exactly anything else 
it's not really saying an awful lot, is it? Other than look at me, I'm a, you know at a park in autumn. As always, thanks very much for watching this video. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe, obviously the usual things are going to be appearing around my head. Um, I've got a slightly like, different video up on the channel at the moment as well of me uh, developing some film. Um, it goes horribly wrong, but maybe you'd be interested in looking at that. Um, yeah, but until next time, thanks very much.